Hi everybody, my name is Nicole Kudic. I'm the Akron Dodgeball Social Media Manager and a member of the NCDA content team. And I'm here today with PJ Antelek, the September NCDA Baller of the Month. PJ, how do you feel about this achievement? Spectacular. Spectacular, you heard it here first. PJ, my first question for you is, how did you decide you wanted to go to Akron? Um, I was learning about majors at the time, I was kind of undecided. And once I heard that they had, uh, when they offered biomedical engineering, it sounded fascinating, so I signed up. Awesome. And then when you were a freshman, how did you find out about Dodgeball Club and decide you wanted to join? I was uh, playing drop and basketball at the time, which I suck at. Saw some guys throwing dodgeballs extremely fast and went, wow, that looks cool. So I showed up to the practices and haven't looked back. Very cool. Next question is, <laughs> um, are there any players that you have played with or against or just have watched play that you really look up to or have them as like a mentor? Uh, definitely Joe Walsh from CSU. He's an animal. Um, I'm glad I'm not playing against him anymore. Uh, Leo from CSU. Uh, Caleb Bartle from, OS from OU. Um, Ryan Ginsberg from OSU. There's, there's a lot of good players out there who I know, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, it's probably not me walking off the board. Do you have any rivals in the league? Um, personal rivals, uh, Colin Varga from OSU. Mm -hmm. We kind of go back and forth. Uh, he tries to catch me, and I just hit him really hard. So it, it's a fun back and forth. It's all good fun. Mm -hmm. Hook him over before a game every time, say hi, and we talk off the court, and it, it's a good time. Nice. Um, what is your favorite match that you've played in all of your years in the NCDA, if you have one? That's kind of hard. There, there have been a, a few really standout ones. Uh, Saginaw, my freshman year, where we played, we played them. Uh, we were not expected to win, and we actually we got up, built a lead, and then slowly blew it, and then took it to overtime. In which case, people assume we're going to lose again. And then uh, I played out of my mind. I had a pretty good catch as, as a freshman. It was really awesome, and uh, we beat them in overtime, which is a really great time. But then um, we've had some good matches this year, so I think the best is yet to come. Cool. Well, speaking of overtime, you had your overtime moment against Bowling Green this year. You better believe it. Um, <laughs> when you saw that, like, everyone was sharing that video of you hitting that poor kid in the face, um, what was your reaction to everyone kind of seeing that? I, I was amazed. I didn't think it was, uh, I mean, at the time, I was just doing what I felt like I had to do. You know, shots there, take it. Uh, but once I saw it, like, posted and stuff, I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I, like, I texted the... Um, the Discord, I was like, hey, thanks a lot for, for sharing it. I'm, I'm glad people are like getting a kick out of yeah. it. It's, it's a good time, but I was kind of in shock that like that many people had seen it. Mm -hmm. it was cool. Awesome. All right. Um, did you play any sports in high school? I played hockey in high school. I still play hockey. I played two games last night, mm -hmm. um, that, but that was pretty much it. I played volleyball my senior year, but it's been hockey since before I could walk. Are there any like skills you use in hockey that you think help you with dodgeball? Or are they just like two completely different things for you? Reaction speed is definitely a helper. However, in hockey, I try and get in the way. And in mm -hmm. dodgeball, you want to get out of the way. So yeah. I just had to change that and I'm good. Yeah. Do you have any pre or post game rituals? Um, I pretty much always suit up the same way take off my shoes, put the knee pads on, put the shoes back on, or switch shoes if I feel like it. Arm sleeves, braces, make sure the nails are good, mm -hmm. good enough. Uh, I started moisturizing this year. I moisturize the hands. I don't bleed on balls anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't know, just kind of get dressed up, be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Your jersey number 17, how did you pick that number? Is that like a special number for you or was that just a random pick? Uh, so in high school, oh, my favorite number growing up was 27, which is not 17, <laughs> you may notice. Mm -hmm. um, and when we were picking jerseys for the high school hockey team, 27 happened to be a goalie jersey, which I could not have because I was not a goalie. So two was taken, seven was taken, so I went with 17 because there's no other choice, and I've picked it ever since. Very cool. Um, do you have any dodgeball walk-up songs? What? Like like your walk-up song like you know like in baseball everyone has like a walk-up song that they walk up to oh no i don't <laughs> <laughs> do you have a good question you want me to ask you that is actually a really good question <laughs> like, my next question for you is are there any questions that you would like to answer um 
I think lately why I probably got chosen for Ball of the Month has been because Akron allow, has allowed me to. For instance, the overtime kill against BG is because Alex survived for four minutes against several players, and I got caught back in in, in overtime. So mm-hmm. I don't think many people saw that. I was originally out in overtime. I got hit on the rush because I hate when people do that. And Matt Young caught me back in. And if I weren't caught back in, and if Alex hadn't have survived, that you know none of that would have happened. And on the court, if I don't get blocked for, if I don't get caught back in, because I do get out a lot, then I don't get to mm-hmm. be, be the thrower that I am. So yeah. I, I throw, and once the team's playing around me and everyone's doing their job, that's when I get to mm-hmm. do mine. Shout out, Alex. Shout out, Boot. My, <laughs> my last question for you is the most important question you're ever going to be asked in your NCDA career. Maybe. What color ball is the best? Green. You heard it here, folks. Thank you, PJ, and congratulations on September Baller of the Month. Thank you.